You're making a, you know, a hell of a lot of accusations at somebody who was your partner. You want to feast your eyes on something here? Accusations, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, like, uh, you're a criminal? Like that kind of accusation? Or? Well, yeah, but I mean, it's not about me. Oh? I got something that's going to knock your socks off here. Two can play at that game. Great, play it on me. Yourself. Is that who I think it is? I mean, who else could it be? It looks exactly like the guy. Doesn't it? Yeah, okay. it does. Wow, so it's not Ben. I told you it wasn't. And he told you it wasn't. I'll say, you're good for something, Finstock. How did you get that footage? <sighs> I am your favorite shady person's favorite shady person. That's why. We always remember that. Now have a good day. Didn't answer my question, but all right. Snyder and Andrako were in the lion's den together for oh, about a year. And then you had that Emma Fife stole Andrako away at last year's Spectacular. How are they going to interact? Because Snyder's no longer with the lion's den. He's off on his own. I'm getting them on the same page has been a, a little bit of a job for me, but I think we're doing well. We've got a mutual respect, right, boys? Sure. Yes. And your winner! Draco and I are not looking past the task at hand, which is taking down Atchity and Duraldi. I think uh, I think if they're a good team, I just think we're a better one. Sam Mendes. And your winner, yeah. ladies oh. and gentlemen, yeah. Yeah. Draco, All of a sudden, there's this new bromance. I feel like stirring here. Yeah, I mean, I said I said backstage, you know, if, if we if we make it through to the end and we win, we should stay a team and maybe even not. Little Evil is uh, done for the year due to an accident. And he's been replaced by Lon's brother, Jonathan, and their team name are the Harris Brothers. Evil geniuses of JTE and Lon Harris were going to take this whole thing. Well, that got thrown out the window when JTE got himself on one of those stupid bird scooters. Lon Harris reaches out and gets his brother, another professor, to go ahead and compete, hence the Harris Brothers. Uh, we're lucky enough to be joined by a visiting professor, a poet, a philosopher, a great man, my own brother, visiting professor, Jonathan Harris. Thank you, I've been uh, taking a sabbatical of several months and I thought I would come by and help you in your little trivia game. Uh, Jim Varney. And your winners, advancing to the next round, Juan and John, the Harris Brothers. Next match, you're gonna be facing Andrako and Snyder. And I, just, I just wanted to size them up, Jen, because you know, I don't know who they are. I've heard of the Cohen brothers. Heard of the sisters brothers, but who are the Harris brothers? I mean, J John, Lon, who's the third one? Moron? Mm. Oh. It, uh, a, a worthy dig. Is this a prop from some sort of Michael Bay film where he is measuring penis length? I don't know. Uh, are you guys professors at the University of Phoenix? John, you impressed me today. You played very well. But Lon, you wouldn't even be here if JT hadn't gotten injured. How, who knows how many words you would have mispronounced today. You're, you're very your, lucky. Your former teammate in uh, nationalism, JT, I'm, I'm shocked to hear you turn on him. Congratulations on your victory today. Mr. Andrego and I look forward to uh, sending you back to whatever junior college you guys uh, come your, from. Your, your partner who draws the funny book.
talk. Now, Ken, we started with 16 teams in the Tag Team Anarchy. We're now down to the final four. I don't know math much, but that sounds right to me, Johnny. You know, as much as sometimes I don't like you, I always love you. You and I have a long broadcast history. Good to be yeah. back at the table with you here. Right now, you're looking sharp, and I'm looking old. But I'll tell you what, this tournament has been exciting there's unexpected things and that's what you get when you insert some anarchy into your normal routine and as sure as i know you're wearing a knockoff members only jacket i am sure this match today is going to be absolutely incredible ken you're sure about that i'm absolutely certain I'm of it very sure about that we have the odd couple we have the harris brothers and i'll start with the harris brothers yeah. because this was a team comprised initially of the professor lon harris and jay T.E. famed Ecuadorian film movie reviewer and technical director. Uh, but an injury, yeah. an injury took JT out of the tournament, and that's the first time this has ever happened, unless you count like John Roca and indigestion. But JTE uh, out of the tournament, and what are you going to do? Is the, could the professor take everyone on himself? I actually think he could, but then he one-ups even that idea and brings in flesh and blood. There's nothing stronger than that, Johnny. His brother Jonathan shows That's up. That's right, Brainiac. Jonathan Harris, Lon Harris. I mean, can blood conquer the odd couple? Because you look at Jeff Snyder and you look at Mark Andreco, those are two egos I don't even think can fit in the Schmodown arena. It's going to be incredible. Uh, two egos? I think there's like one ego and just a real nice guy, and they're just mashed together. Uh, but that's what this tournament is about. Odd couples indeed. This is an apt named team. Uh, or is it aptly? Tell me, Bibiani. I don't know. But um, it, it, you put these guys, I would, they never would have teamed up. They never never would have teamed up, but no. here they are in their championship contender, and they're not coming out alone. They have someone in their corner. Absolutely. We have Roxy Stryer, someone who's very dear to my heart, one of the most motivating, positive individuals I've ever known in my life. On top of that, if the team does get stressed out, she has plenty of opportunities to hook them up with some cannabis that will calm them down. Calm them way down. Roxy's great. Sometimes she talks too much. Sometimes she's in the corner just screaming, you know, but I, 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 I have a long history with Roxy, too. I, I used to work with her on air. I know what she brings. I know the encouragement she brings, and she is certainly a secret weapon to this team uh they though have done more talking than we have johnny we got some promos from the teams let's see it now what have i been telling you guys about the odd couple they might be odd but again there's a reason that that show was on for so many years because it just works it does not matter who's in our way we're gonna take them down Ah oh, yes, welcome again, students. Last week, I noticed many of you doubting the professor, doubting that academics could come in and conquer the Schmodown. I, I think we've more than proven ourselves at this point, just as we'd always predicted, just as I included in my original syllabus. This run has been has been completely unexpected in the best possible way, I think. I, I think I said this last time after our last match against Duraldi and Adichie, that it fe I felt that was the best match I've ever played as far as strategy, and I felt like Jeff and I had a real rapport going on and trusted each other and listen to each other and it was technique that won that game not necessarily knowledge that's that's the important part many of you failed in the midterms but will you be able to handle when we are in the finals finals week brings the most pressure i hope you are up to the challenge it's important to prepare before the finals and i certainly hope that our new opponents mr snyder and mr andraco have prepared i know these are former champions i'm familiar with their curriculums vitae last game against Ashley and Duraldi, we needed a buzzer beater, okay? It's not going to come down to the buzzer for this one. We're going to try to take him out by the end of round two, get that TKO, TKO the KO, whatever you want to call it. I don't care if it's JTE, Lon's brother, doesn't matter. It would have been nice to have, have beaten JTE, don't get me wrong, but I'll settle for kicking the ass of this Harris brother. And Draco sounds somewhat European, so I will give him a point for that. Mm -hmm. Snyder reminds me of Zack Snyder, a filmmaker I'm unfamiliar with. <laughs> His work you don't know at all. I ah. am unfamiliar with him, I just know I don't like him. Uh, I, I believe Sucker Punch in a survey course of the downfall of American cinema, it might make it into a future film. Ooh, I would take that course. Mm, yeah, it's fascinating. Lon, John, super nice guys, but you're not teaching anyone a lesson today. We're the ones who are gonna teach you guys a lesson and we're taking you down. Class is in session. You're getting an F. All right, Pit Boss, very strong words from two very confident teams. Whoever wins this moves on to the finals of Tag Team Anarchy to take on the winner of Corruption and Riley and Bateman. So in other words, you're saying 
to go on and face corruption because uh, Kalinowski and Chance, you know, that's a whole other thing. We, we Kalinowski and I, I never thought we'd be working together, but Chance, fate, literally, has brought us together. We're going to take this thing. It's going to be fun for the rest of the teams to try. And actually, Kalinowski is why I'm wearing insect repellent to make sure that arachnid can't go near me to kick me off a of commentary right now. Sir, that sounds like an insult, but uh, we'll uh, move on here to the tail of the tape. These two teams, the odd couple, uh, well, these guys, they've both proven time and time again they know a lot. Their strings include Oscar movies, directors, uh, uh, current releases, uh, comic book movies with Mark Andreco. Especially he DC. He's DCG. a DCG. That's yeah. right. His Supergirl run. You can read that right now. And, of course, I also asked Draco, what are your strengths? And he said, believing in life after love, laughter, love, after love, after love. Uh, the Harris brothers, the Harris brothers, uh, Strengths include 90s, animated, crime, and enlightening the masses here, teaching the world about better film appreciation. And I can only imagine they have to be a huge fan of the film Step Brothers. Uh, I don't think so. Oh. I think that's, that's beneath their, loss. their taste. That's their All loss. right, well, uh, with the tail of the tape, the promos out of the way, I think it's time we get to the match. What do you say, Absolutely, Johnny? Ken, take us away. Then it's time for the Movie Trivia Schmodown. <laughs> Introducing first. From the school of elite, with a record of two wins and zero losses, what by way of knockout. The of the shadow of death. I'll take a look at my life and realize And the Brediac, Jonathan Harris, the Harris Look at that, two. And Ken, they have had such an incredible run defeating the Wildberries in round one, followed up with Take the Cannoli, who tied the record against my team, the Self-Righteous Brothers, in the first round. Look at this. He's got Lon's got the pipe. Jonathan looks like he's halfway through a novel in that sweater. This looks great. When you look at these brothers, you think of other great brothers in history. You know, the Cohen brothers, maybe Cain and Abel, or possibly Macho Man Randy Savage and Leaping Lanny Pop. Or uh, Blue and Eli. Uh, the Blue Brothers in the WWE, like uh, Jacob Blue. All right, and their opponents led to the ring by their manager, Roxy the Brave Strive, with a record of two wins and zero defeats. Mark the Android and Draco, and the former team champion of the world. They are indeed. Jeff Snyder attempting to make history here, Ken, trying to become the first person ever to win the tag team titles with separate teams. Absolutely. That would be quite a uh, feat here. All right. We are about to begin. Roxy settles her team in. We have the whiteboards in front of you. A little reminder of the rules for all these players that they have played before. But for those watching at home and those maybe watching the Schmodime, Schmodown for the very first time, the rules are this in the round one. You'll have whiteboards, you have pens. You can write down your answers in a short amount of time, about 15 seconds if I get that joke in in time. Don't worry about that. You have three chances this entire game to repeat. This is the JTE rule named in his honor because he used to employ it as a dirty tactic. Ah, uh, and we also will be asking you eight questions in this first round. Uh, you, uh, if you get all the answers right, you'll get a bonus question. Uh, so that, Johnny, are, are you good with those rules? I, f I love the rules. I all think right. I'm ready. Do you understand, Law? I understand all the rules. Android. Yes, sir. Jonathan. Indeed. Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> I just got that. Do you have another chair, though, so I can uh, have my ego sit next to me? Uh, we are out of chairs that large, sir, but are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Then let's get ready <laughs> to smoke! <laughs> Three rounds to a finish. All right, first question in round one out of eight comes in the category of fantasy slash, slash sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi. Who plays the lead in the 2006 sci-fi thriller Children of Men? Um, I'm still one of those uh, adult children, Johnny. I buy Funko Pops and T-shirts, so I don't know if I will get this question. I've seen your bedroom. It's really impressive. Yeah. Five. Five. 
four, three, two, one. All right, pens down, looking for answers, starting with Lawn. I believe it is esteemed British actor Clive Owen. That is right. Mark Andreco. I lost it. Oh, does not have it. Blake, Jonathan. It is Clive Owen. Clive Owen, up to nothing. I went by his real name, Clive Owen. I, that is correct, no matter how you said it there. All right, 2-1 after uh, the first question, Mr. LaQuasto. Here we go, Andrew. This is under the category of animated. What animated film franchise stars the voice talents of Kevin James, Andy Samberg, Selena Gomez, and Adam Sandler? Hmm. Is this one? Is this You use the word talent. Kevin James in the same sentence. I was interested. Uh, in five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Fed's down looking for answers starting with Andreco. Hotel Transylvania. That is correct. Oh, it, I believed uh, it was from where I uh, first spent a summer. Madagascar. Oh, oh. Right there. <laughs> but a good place to stay, Mr. Schneider. Hotel Transylvania. All right, odd couple takes a lead. <laughs> Since we've clearly already moved straight to juvenilia, it is Hotel Transylvania. All right, the brothers have time. Third question. Third question comes in the category of drama. Drama. Will Smith stars with Matt Damon in what sports drama? You know, I will say this. Yeah, I will defend Will Smith's rap lyrics in the late 80s, early 90s. He was a fantastic I'm lyricist. I'm partial to DJ Jazzy Jeff, but all right. You have your five. In five. Four. Three, two, and one. Pens down. Look, Francis, start with Jonathan. This sounds problematic, but I believe it's the legend of Bagger Vance. That is correct, sir. Jeff. The legend of Bagger Vance. There oh. you got it. He was uh, playing around a little bit long. It is the problematic legend of Bagger Vance. All right, up. 5-4. So problematic. Oh, Legend of Bagger here Vance. we go. We got a tie game. A tie game. Yes, we do. Yeah. Five all. Moving on to the category of comedies. Who played the female lead, Andy Anderson, in How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days? I beat that record by nine days. Oh, yeah. I've uh, seen that happen yeah. before. You know, it's not always you. Sometimes it's her. Sometimes, most of the time, it's me. Most of the time, it's you. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's a good point. Uh, looking for answers here at five, four. Three, two, and one. Pens are down, starting with Jeff. Kate Hudson? That is correct. Well, I as well had Kate Hudson. Tie game, Mr. I'm Greco. wearing some of her Fabletics right now. <laughs> <laughs> Kate Hudson? I was going to say something. Jonathan? The answer is Kate Hudson. All right, we got a tie game. 7-7, seven, yes, seven, Mr. Requasto. All right, fifth question. Fifth question comes in the category of action slash adventure. Action adventure. In The Princess Bride, what does R-O-U-S stand for? Ooh. Well, you know, I uh, I once had oysters with uh, Peter Falk. Get out of here. True story. Wow. I, um, you I can't really eat oysters. They don't agree I with me. I didn't. I let him do it. Five. Uh -huh. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right. Pens are down. Looking for answers starting with lawn. Rodents of unusual size? I don't think they exist. Uh, <laughs> I love that quote. Mr. Andrego. I have zero idea. Oh, you need a little more whimsy in your life then, sir. Uh, Jonathan. That might work in Aramaic. No, it is <laughs> rodents of unusual size. All right. We've got... Are uh, you going to ask another question? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, the Harris brothers oh, with the clean sweep that. there. They're now up 9-7, pit boss. 9-7 indeed. Next question from movie release dates. Hmm. Crocodile Dundee was released in what year? <laughs> wow, this is the. Uh, that's not a knife. This kid. <laughs> this is a knife. That, that's definitely a quote from the movie. Uh, key year of my life. Five, four, three, two, one. Looking for answers from Mark. 1987. Incorrect, Jonathan. I put 1987. Incorrect as well. Mr. I also Jeff. put 1987. Whoa. 1986. That is Whoa. right. We have the answer. Okay. Just think of the New York Mets winning the World Series. Okay. You'll get all That's how I did it, Ken. Uh, you got exactly it. That's exactly how right I did it. <laughs> Seventh question comes in the category of horror slash thriller. Horror slash thriller. How many films in the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise were directed by Wes Craven? How bad are your nightmares, Johnny? Because I, I get scared easily. I don't watch these movies. I'm more of a day terror kind of person. Oh, when I'm okay. actually awake and have my own thoughts at my disposal. Uh, I enjoy a good night sweat. Huh? All right. And we are at five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. All right. Pens are down. Looking for answers. Start with Jonathan. 
I believe he did a later one, so is the answer two? That's correct. Dose two. All right, Jeff. I also had two. Harris Brothers up. Two. Two. All right, everyone got that answer right. Nine to eight. All right. A new nightmare. All right, Harris Brothers up 12-9. Moving on to a Patreon question. Thank you to Jonathan Peck for supporting the show. And this is his question in the category of 80s movies. All right, and Lon, we should note, has a perfect round so far. Absolutely. Here it is. Name two of the three leading actresses in this 1987 dark comedy, The Witches of Eastwick. Mm, all right. Going back to this year that everyone seems to love here. Yeah, not uh, Crocodile Dundee, though. 1987. No, no. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Look at your answer starting with Jeff. I've got Susan Sarandon and Cher. That is correct. That is correct. All right. Lawn for a perfect round. I have Michelle Pfeiffer and Susan Sarandon. Ding, 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 ding. A perfect round. My Mark. spirit animal, Cher. Oh. Susan Sarandon and Michelle Pfeiffer. <laughs> oh. put them all down there and... Uh, this would work if uh, gender was non-binary. Uh, <laughs> Angelica Houston and Jack Nicholson uh, plus... Uh, that's... <laughs> You know, there was <laughs> to be fair, right there. my if, favorite answer though. If so I would like to just say that there are m multiple genders, I take it back. All right, so that means right there, impressive first round, really for all teams, 13-11, Johnny. It is close, but we do have a perfect round, a perfect round. This is a question only for Mr. Lon Harris. He does not have to write it down. Uh, he's all on his own here. Uh, he has this question. The rest can just watch with their free ticket there. Lon, Jonah Hill received his first Academy Award nomination for which film? I want to say the film is Moneyball. You are, well, you correct. are correct. A perfect round and the bonus. <laughs> And a uh, bonus, 14 to 11, Johnny. What do you think about that first round? I got to say, the Harris brothers, they were put together, unfortunately, by an injury to JTE, but they they have the connection. They're dominating. It may, it may be uh, put together by God uh, it, it Are you itself. calling yourself God again? No, nah, no, no. I stopped that. I leave that for Alec Baldwin and monologues. Um, but this is... Uh, a very competitive game so far. We would expect nothing less, and we're heading into round two. Round two works like this as the wheel comes out, and RB3 gets his beautiful shot framed around this wheel. We, uh, each team's going to spin. They do get two spins if they want, unless they land on spinner's choice or opponent's choice. If uh, I mean, I guess you could choose to go away from spinner's choice. That's probably not going to happen. But opponent's choice, you're stuck with it. You get two shots there. Uh, you get six questions in the round. Uh, you will get a chance to ask for multiple choice if you do not know the answer offhand. Steals are available, so other teams pay attention. You could steal. Now, if you uh, attempt to steal and they haven't asked for multiple choice, you do not get multiple choice yourself. JT rules are still on the board. No no team has used them there. So, uh, the wheels for today's match is sponsored by our Schmodown patron Emmanuel Abanez on patreon.com slash Schmodown. Emmanuel, thank you for your support. The sponsored wheel slices for today's matches, Johnny, are... 80s and sports! Ooh, 80s and sports. I like that mix. Now, one wheel Thanks, slice Johnny. for today's match is sponsored by our Schmodown patrons uh, on patreon.com slash Schmodown, and uh, that sponsored wheel slice for today's match is... Disney, but if that's called, we'll see who selected that one. All right, I've been talking a lot. Sorry, Roxy. Uh, are you guys ready for round two? Yeah. We are ready. I am. All right, so the Harris Brothers, you are in the lead, 14-11. You have a choice to spin first or defer your spin. spin first. Let's spin first. They're going to put the pressure on and go first. Jonathan is going to saunter right. on over. And Ken, on. as you know, yeah. some of these portions of the wheel can do a team in. Go ahead, give it a spin. As a matter of fact, uh, my team... <laughs> was done in by a Julia Roberts yes. category. Yes, Julia in Roberts. Facing, take the cannoli. All right, we have got the, oh, it is Whoa. looking like, oh. oh, new releases. Do you guys want to stick with it or spin again? New as of 1961. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let's give it one more spin. One more spin, one more I would spin. I one more spin. Lon, the veteran of the game, spin again, sir. Spin again. All right, it's That's coming down to oh. Oh. Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, we'll the Harris brothers are looking very confident right now. 
All right, there you have it, Tarantino, Quentin Tarantino, almost Jodie Foster, but it stops on Tarantino. The Harris Brothers get six questions. I'll be administrating these questions. Johnny, well, the questions for the odd couple member steals are in play. 14-11 is the count of the game right now. Six questions. First one, in Inglorious Bastards, what were the bastards instructed to collect from the Nazis? Is it? Uh, they're scalps. That is correct for two points. Two points coming on down here. We hate Nazis! All right. We don't like Nazis. It's true. Question two. Question two. Who plays Django's first slave owner, Old Man Kurikan, in Django Unchained? Hmm? For an answer. Five, four, three. Can we do multiple choice? You can. A, Robert De Niro. B, Bruce Dern. C, Don Johnson. D, James Ramar. Don Johnson? That's incorrect for a possible steal. James Ramar. That's incorrect. We're that looking is, for... No, that's not right. That's I have James Bruce Ramar. Dern here. Bruce Dern here. This is, these are the guys on the chain gang? He, James Ramar plays two roles. Did you know that? I don't know. Right, right, we right. can guess incorrectly again. If you. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not challenging that we got it right. You're challenging that you got it wrong. Yeah. Who, who do you? Who are you saying the answer is? Uh, Bruce Stern, sir. Bruce Stern is what I have here. That's. So not when he's being taken. Yeah, no, in, initially. The I still thought it was Don John. All right, after some debate, Roxy, the manager, getting in there. They've decided not to challenge, not to challenge. We have an incorrect question on the board there. Uh, so it's still 16-11, though. Third question coming on in for the Harris brothers in the category of Tarantino. Who plays the last man standing of the crew in Reservoir Dogs? Steve Buscemi. That's correct for two points, Mr. Pink, Mr. Pink. Fourth question, fourth question. In the Kill Bill films, which member of the Deadly Viper Assassination Squad had the code name California Mountain Snake? It's Daryl Hannah. That's correct for two more points there. Wow. Two more points. Fifth question out of six. In Pulp Fiction, what make of car do Vincent and Mia sit inside at Jack Rabbit Slims? All right, much debate. Five, four, three. I believe it's a 57 Chevy. That is incorrect. No, we don't, I don't know. Do you? No. A 69 fuck you? Nope, that is uh, <laughs> No. Nope. That is a... Uh, a move I tried on my first wedding night, which is why I'm not married anymore, but uh, it doesn't count. <laughs> the answer was Chrysler. We're looking for a Chrysler. All right, next question. Final question in this round. Final question in this round. Six, six. Which controversial, ultra-violent Oliver Stone movie was based on a story by Quentin Tarantino? I believe the film is Natural Born Killers. Why don't you give him more that clues, Ken? That is correct. All right, all right. We've got the odd couple up now. Who is going to spin the wheel and make the deal? Well, we got Jeff. I gonna... believe his name is Mr. Pink. <laughs> <laughs> Only refer gonna... to him as Mr. Pink. All right, now. spin coming in, sir. Mr. Pink making the spin. All right, good spin, good spin, good form. Striking a model pose as well. He's got a good pose going. Yeah, very strong. Hand on the hips. Good pose. It's not coming down, though. It is. Uh-oh. Oh. All right. As if it couldn't be any worse right now, the Harris Brothers All get right. the choice. Harris Brothers get a choice here. We're going to need what you want to decide here. I mean, should we be mean? I mean, uh, it, it gives us no pleasure to kick someone when they're down, but I think uh, sports movies. Sports is movies right. is the category, sir. Sports movie it Maybe is. Maybe be easy. Mark and Draco. I played more varsity sports than everyone in this room. Oh, Snyder saying he lettered I've in slept, sports. And, and I've slept with more high school football players. <laughs> this might be true, sir. Ken, please, in, make in sure all school. questions are varsity water polo related. Jeez. All right, order, order. All right, you're going to have six questions coming down the pipeline from Mr. Johnny LaQuasto. Here we go. Question number one. Who played washed-up golf pro 
Roy McAvoy in Tin Cup. I'm looking for Kevin Costner. That's correct for two points. That is yes. correct for two points. Question number two. In Major League, what is the result of the at-bat when Jake Taylor mimics Babe Ruth's famous called shot? Multiple choice. A, home run, B, strikeout, C, a bunt, or D, foul ball? Answer in five, four, three. Can you repeat the question, please? Sure can. A, oh, the question. In Major League, what is the result of the at-bats when Jake Taylor mimics Babe Ruth's famous called shot? B. That Incorrect. Is a, a, home run. B, strikeout. C, bunt. D, foul ball. In five, four, three. Home run. Incorrect. No. Looking for a bunt. Oh. A bunt. Oh, drop the yeah, bunt. A little switcheroo oh. from so Jake what, Taylor. We know what bunts are like. We don't lose points for that, right? All right. No points are lost. No points are lost. 22-13. Third question. Here we go. Who plays head football coach Harold Jones in the 2003 sports drama Radio? Five, four. Multiple choice. A, Chris Cooper. B, Ed O'Neill. C, John Goodman. D, Ed Harris. Can you repeat the choices once more? Sure. A, Chris Cooper. B, Ed O'Neill. C, John Goodman. D, Ed Harris. A lot of mumbling, a lot of whispering. Mm -hmm. Both teams here. We're going to need an answer in five. A. Incorrect. Chris Cooper, Ed O'Neill, John Goodman, Ed Harris. I believe it's Ed Harris. That's correct for a steal one point. I didn't think it was All right. Big steal there. Next question. Keanu Reeves played two quarterbacks in two unrelated movies that went to the same college. What university did he play for? <laughs> Seriously? Wow. Seriously. Multiple choice. A, Miami, B, Penn State, C, Virginia Tech, D, Ohio State. I have no four. Answer. Five. Ohio State. That's correct for a point. <laughs> Ohio, Ohio. Coming back to help and Draco there. Next question. <laughs> what 90s baseball film stars Freddie Prince Jr. and Jessica Biel? Summer catch. That's correct for two points. Two points. Two points. 23-16. 23-16. Final question coming down here. Here we go. In the pro shop in Caddyshack, Rodney Dangerfield says, you buy a hat like this, I'll bet you get a free blank. I saw that. <laughs> Multiple choice. A, box of teas. B, bowl of soup, C, golf lesson, D, club sandwich. Club sandwich? Incorrect. Box of teas, bowl of soup, golf lesson, club sandwich. I believe it's bowl of soup. That is correct for one point oh. steal. <clears throat> All right. We have come to the end of round two. Johnny LaCosta, it is 24 16. Wigs are coming off. All right, should we move on to round three? Get right. on, Ken. Round three, Mr. Snyder, round three will work like this. You will get questions that uh, are two, three, and five point questions based on the numbers that you decide. Fate is in your hands here. So uh, we have uh, a couple of two JTs remaining. Harris Brothers have all three. 24-16 going into this final round. So we will start taking the numbers, starting with three from the Harris Brothers. Your choices are one through 20. Eight, 11, and 15. Eight, 11, and 15. Odd couple, your numbers. Two, four, and six. Two, four, and six. 
is where we're going. You also okay. uh, will have to decide before these questions two and three which one of you will answer them after I uh, unveil the uh, category here. Uh, you want to ask the questions for the odd couple, sir? I'd be honored. All right. We have got uh, the uh, first category is number two, number two, modern classics. Who is going to take it? I'll take it. Mark and Drake is going to take a two-point question from Johnny. This is films from 1929 on, right? <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of the special kick that Daniel learns in The Karate Kid? The Crane. That is correct. That is correct for two points. <laughs> crane kick indeed. They do need to get the all three of the questions. There is pressure on here. So if they miss one, the game would be over. We have the next one, Johnny. Uh, they chose the number four. That is in the category of DiCaprio coming to you. Jeff, Leo DiCaprio, three-point question coming from Johnny. All right. Who plays DiCaprio's wife, Mal, in Inception? Marion Cotillard. You three got Three points are still alive. They are still alive. All right, we are coming down, Johnny, potentially the final question of the game. Unless uh, the odd couple hits it, they'll push it back mm -hmm. to the odd couple, but if they lose, it would be a TKO victory for the Harris brothers. They chose number six, Johnny. That category is? Here we go, and it's fantasy sci-fi. Uh, you can confer. All right. Which Academy Award-winning actress played Major Rebecca Childs in the science fiction adventure The Core? Hillary Swank. You got That's it. correct. Five oh. points. Sorry. I'm back back up. Back up. Five so points. Five points. It's 26, so 24. Very good. All right. We have got uh, questions coming the way. Again, guys, you get to choose who answers first depending on the category. Uh, you guys chose first the number eight. The number eight, that category for your two-point question will be war movies. War movies. Who's going to answer this one? I'll take it. Jonathan will take a two-point question category of war movies. Who plays Colonel Nicholson in the war film The Bridge on the River Kwai? Alec Guinness. That's correct. Ooh. For two points to tie the game. Wow. Tie the game. It comes down potentially to this right here. A hard-end victory, or they could swing and a miss. That's a baseball reference, Johnny. Absolutely. And we go. They chose the number 11. Lawn is going to get this question. It is in biopics. Biopics, three-point question. In what Eastern European country did the 2002 film The Pianist take place? I believe it's in Poland. And your winner by a final score of 29-26, uh, Harris Brothers. The brothers Johnny, the brothers move on. Blood. Yes, Unbelievable. You have to believe Little Evil is cheering them on from the sidelines, although he wishes he was here. They might be in the situation if JT was here, but what an incredible performance once again, dominating three matches in a row. They're moving on to the finals. Guys. Absolutely. You know, 29-26 is a great match. That is a punch-for-punch a -punch battle there. Even in the second round, when you saw the, the odd couple get sports, they dug in, they battled, they got some answers, some answers, and they were there at the the end just the Harris brothers had a little bit too much in the end though so, let's not hear it from ourselves Johnny let's go backstage to your friend of mine Jen Sturge with both teams what's up movie trivia Schmodown fans Jen Sturge here with the odd couple guys uh, Mark you're visibly upset right now um that was an amazing round three you guys put up there it's just the wheel they no this uh, the lawn and his brother played played very well my my frustrations have nothing to do with them they were exemplary teammates they played well they deserved a win i'm not going to get into it a loss is a loss i'll move on it's just it's it's just very disappointing and frustrating i see you adding you know your head nods over here uh, snyder yeah no mark took the words out of my mouth john lon played great uh they deserve the victory hats off to him wigs off too the wig is way off. The wig's not coming back. That's bad luck that week. Oh, Roxy, I just saw you cheering them on from off to the side. I mean, you look heartbroken right now. Honestly, I'm not heartbroken. I'm really proud of these guys. I think that they played the best game they could. They didn't give up. And at the end there, to hit our two, our three, and our five, that's nothing short of impressive. We just, at that point, we had spun opponent's choice. And sports movie is not our, our strong suit. And there was a little bit of disparity between the questions, which happens all the time here. Uh, and you can't be a sore loser. We lost fair and square. That's true. And I'm really proud of them. They did everything they could today. 
Yeah, guys, I, I don't think that today's loss takes anything away from the run that you guys had in this tournament at all. Once again, I, I, congratulations to Alon and his brother. They were really great, and it's always fun to see new people in this. I, John. Uh, John. Yeah, I'm sorry I've been marsha, marsha, marshaling John's bro <laughs> or Alon's brother. Um, it, it's, it's just frustrating because these things do happen, and when they happen to you, you can't help but get frustrated because when you see other they happen to other people, you're like, oh, maybe that wasn't that big of a deal. And there's going to be some disparity no matter what. It just felt a little... Un, uneven yeah so but what can you do it's a game life goes on they're important there are real important things to actually it's like they say about, yeah so, absolutely yeah. you win by the wheel you die by the wheel and unfortunately when you spin something that's not in your wheelhouse ugh, that happens all right guys well, thank you so much thank you hopefully we'll see you back again here soon after the tournament we'll see thanks jen and we're back with the harris brothers guys Wait, what is, did you scalp a Muppet? What is happening right now? I'm just a huge fan of Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem, and I think one of the members is here, so I'm yeah. hoping to meet them later. I didn't even understand that reference, but okay. It's the, the Muppet Show band. They're, they're, you know, the guy with the big top hat, gold teeth. No, nothing. We're, we're old. We're very old, the Harris <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. Guys, that was a really, really impressive math you guys just put Why, on Why, thank you, there. yes. Hitting round two, Quentin Tarantino. Mm. Uh, you saw them get a little bit upset and a little flustered. Do you think that that they carried into their round two with them? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we feel like Jean-Paul Belmondo in Breathless, and they feel like Jean-Paul Belmondo in Pierrot Le Faux. Mm. That's all there is to say about it. Fine comparison, yes. On point, sir. I just don't think that this interview can get any weirder, and then it does. So, guys, <laughs> obviously now, having moved past the odd couple, you're going to be either facing corruption or... Who's the boss? Yes. Do you guys have a preference? I, uh, you know, I don't think we've c properly studied all of these teams as we will in preparation this coming week without going through all of our extensive files. I, I think we're ready to face whoever comes down the pike next. I plan to pull up a microfiche of both teams mm. and study them yes. uh, thoroughly. Mm -hmm. Fine. I'll pr perhaps prepare a little presentation. Oh, yes. A, a diorama. Perhaps. Yeah. So the press, we could sort of lecture and share with one another, get Ooh. a board in. Yeah. Lovely. Hmm. Yeah, back to you guys. All right, there you heard, Johnny. Both teams, obviously, you're going to be, uh, you know, you're going to be upset. You're going to be happy. The Harris brothers are happy. They're looking To be next. fair, Snyder's generally always upset. He's generally always upset there. He tried something new there. You know, you, we, don't, we don't make all the rules, Johnny. We just uh, do our best to enforce them there. Uh, I, uh, I, I, a lot of props to Jed Sturger always standing with these teams. When, uh, and Andreco, I love Mark Andreco. Yes. Uh, I know he was a little upset, too, but that's the way it crumbles here. Uh, the cookie, as it were, and I like cookies. I like a lot of cookies. <laughs> we know you love cookies. But the Harris brothers, yeah. moving on to the finals, they're going to face the winner of Corruption and the team of Riley and Bateman. I'm a big Riley fan. Bateman, well, he'll be there too. Ah, he'll be there as well. You know, I don't have, uh, you know, I know we're going to win. And I, but it's, uh, I, I don't want to, but I, I'm really looking forward to face the Harris brothers. It'd be a good challenge for Chance and Mike for us to overcome on our way to the championship. That's All right, right, that is the match today. Anarchy keeps on going. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you do that thing where you like, you share, you leave a comment, let the world know about mm -hmm. it. If you want to pop on over to the Patreon page mm -hmm. and consider supporting, go to patreon.com slash schmodown. You get exclusives like a live stream with me, Johnny. I got to sit and eat a sandwich while talking directly to the fans. A lot of things like that and matches ahead, all that kind of what stuff. What kind of sandwich was it? It was a turkey sandwich, and I was in love from the first bite. So, Unbelievable. Johnny, thanks for uh, leading us through here today. It was great. Actually, I think it was a good team that we had, uh, you and I. We may not always get along. We may not always see eye to eye. But, hey, we made it happen. We'll see you guys next time here on the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Uh, come in! What's up, buddy? Hi, How mate. you doing, my friend? I'm doing I feel. Fine. I feel like we haven't seen each other in so long. Yeah, I thought, I thought we thought we weren't doing this anymore. What are you, what are you talking about? I, we're having a great time. We're going out to barbecues together. We were taking the kids together for walks in the park. We don't have any kids. I'm thinking long term. I'm getting, I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh, and so far, this, this term is far. Oh, boy. Am I right? Oh, boy. Um, a little joke, a little joke for the fans. Uh, anyway, so I got something for you. What are you working on? What are you working on? Uh, just, you know, just uh, working on the, the Schmodown card. Just Spectacular. Talk. Yes. Spectacular. I got something for you. Star Wars. Open spot, right? Yeah. Same way, where happens? Same way, where? Off he went. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. Off he went. went. Yeah. Open spot, right? Yeah, Alex, Alex does not have anyone to defend the belt for. Let me stop you right there. I got someone for you. You, you got Hidalgo? 
Who? No, I ain't got Filoni? No. Favreau? No. Who? Napsok. What? No, 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 What are you saying? I'm I'm saying no, 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 no. Go, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good time. Napsok. He's gonna be perfect for it, my friend. He's gonna be great. Fans gonna love it. They're gonna eat this stuff up. You're, you're gonna be look like you look like a, as a champ, as a savior. No, 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 no. They're gonna yeah. hate me. Look at 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 me. Go. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun, isn't it? Come on. Come on. We're back. Like, we're we're in the swing of things here, my friend. All right, my friend. I'm gonna get out of here. That sounds good. You gotta get work it down. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna get out of here. If you're leaving the door open. You know, things happen behind this door here, so close it. Yeah. All right, fine. Hey. Great to see you again, pal. They're gonna kill me. How's it going, guys? If you didn't know about the Patreon, you guys have a chance to support the Schmodown. Now, myself, Mark Ellis, we've taken over the production. Basically, you guys have 16 tiers to choose from. We're trying to give back to the fans. Go and check it out right there. If you want to support the Schmodown by becoming a patron today, go ahead and do it. Cannot thank you guys enough for all the support you've given us. And yeah, there's some really crazy tears in there. I'd love to get your opinions on it. Now, go enjoy the match. Go do it. It's a good match, for God's sakes.